In this video, you will learn about deep learning in the healthcare context and what does it mean that it's a data-driven approach. Hi, I'm Alexandra Zhurev and I'm here to help you do better digital pathology. So if you're interested in that, in digital pathology, any aspects of image analysis, be sure to click the bell below and be notified every time I release a new video. This video is a part of a webinar I have given for the Davis Thompson Foundation. The mission of this foundation is to promote veterinary pathology knowledge. This was a day seminar and I was a part of this seminar. The seminar was on deep learning and AI in pathology for healthcare and veterinary medicine. So to respect your time, I chopped this webinar into little pieces that can stand on their own and I'm going to prepare a playlist of all of them so we can watch them or if you don't want to watch uh, plenty different videos there's also a link to uh, register for the full webinar if you want to watch the full thing uninterrupted so let's dive into what deep learning is and why is it a data-driven approach deep learning is a data-driven approach what does that mean deep learning is a machine learning method that ba is based on artificial neural networks with many layers. Many layers, that makes it deep. If you have few, if we have few layers, that's not deep learning. And it learns the features on its own. And this is where this data-driven approach comes in. And let's look at the picture. So in the classical machine learning in the upper part of the image, there was an input on the left and we are talking about image analysis here. Obviously artificial intelligence and deep learning can be applied to all kinds of data, but we are pathologists that are looking at images and recognizing patterns. So most of my examples are going to be with images. So we have this image of the car. And then if we want to have a classification of different pictures, whether they have a car or not, then we ask a programmer or we can program ourselves different features of this car. Features are characteristics. For example, it has four wheels. It has, it is blue. It has doors, whatever a car has, obviously in computer vision language. So it's going to be more like edges and borders and things like that. And once we have that coded, we can ask the algorithm to classify it into two categories car or no car. We can use more categories, but in this example. So basically a person is defining the features. In deep learning, the feature extraction and classification is happening within the neural network. And we just provide, and here now I'm talking about supervised deep learning, we provide labeled data, meaning images where we say this is a car and you for sure know all those a recaptcha things that we have to click on when we want to do something online and confirm that we're not a robot and say all the pictures where you see a car click on them so that's what that is labeling and companies that later use this data to train different algorithms and here we don't say we don't tell the network what we're looking for what features we're looking for we're not telling look for wheels the network is looking at this car and is giving us the output. And this is data driven because we just give data and then we get information about other data that is not seen yet. And on this graph, you can see how the performance of deep neural networks depends on the amount of data. Uh, at the top in green, you have deep neural networks. And at the bottom, you have we have traditional machine learning. So traditional would be with a person defining the features. And you can see that the traditional machine learning at the beginning, we don't need too much data. And it starts performing well. And whereas deep neural networks and all neural networks, obviously deep is performing better, they lag a little bit they need some data to perform and then later deep neural network the more data you give it to train the better it performs and this is why in image analysis this approach is replacing the traditional machine learning or is being used in combination with traditional machine learning but in all those image challenges like the chameleon challenge where breast cancer metastasis and lymph nodes were detected all the winning algorithms were deep learning algorithms. 
And now there is a, another challenge, my dog for methodic uh, domain generalization. I it just started. If somebody wants to take part, you can still take part. But from what has happened in the last couple of years, probably deep learning is going to be the only thing you're going to see there. So again, more data, better model. This is a part of this data-driven approach. Quality of our data matters. And what we can see on this picture is my representation of garbage in, garbage out. And here I'm going to stop to talk about annotations because annotations is something that we as pathologists often provide for training deep learning models. If you're still listening, uh, you're probably interested in the rest of the webinar. So be sure to click the link below or you can watch the playlist as well. I'm going to link into card to the playlist. Talk to you in the next episode.